You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something about one of the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Tide, Ranzo's Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. I'll save the uh let's save the Patreon stuff at the end of the video. Anyway, alarm chain, you are up and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> I'm sure the I'm sure the plan I'm sure the the pin blades I'm sure the pin blades would love to see you more often. Did Griff reply yet? I, th I thumbed through my phone. No reply from Griff. I think so. Limited time. Limited choices. Well, Lorenzo. I stand from the table. I'll come with you. I, uh... Oh, Alright. Get some shots, too. How many? What of? Vodka, three, should do. Billy shuffles a deck of cards in his hands. I shout around those thumping footsteps to the bar. How you feeling, then? What? I'm grand. Grand? You're doing grand? Come on, what's up? The bar lady asks for Ranzo's order. He takes a moment to compose himself. There are five loggers, uh, three vodka shots. The bar lady nods and leaves Ranzo to continue the conversation. He doesn't. Ranzo? Yeah, I'm good. The dinner was just ick. Richard? Yeah. He sounds like a bit of an arsehole. Uh, sorry, I know he's your uncle, but... He is an arsehole. The first drink comes Ranzo's way. He claims it is his and starts drinking. He can't just keep his nose out. I keep eye contact with Ranzo and slide a finger across the spot under his no under my nose. He wipes the white suds from off of his mustache. What was he asking for? He said something about your granddad? Yeah, not that he doesn't not that he hasn't done that enough. Ranzo's brow creases. Another drink is placed between us. He doesn't give a shit about my family, just his sodden museum. The anger is back in his voice. This tone on Ranzo's tongue is still so foreign to me. He pulls the cap from off his head and, and kneads it in his palm. So what was it? What was he looking for? I'm not going to tell the penny bloods of all people. You're as bad as... The fourth drink is placed on the bar. He lowers his tone. You're not as bad as him. But I don't want to talk about it. His teeth chew at nothing in my expected silence. It's something of granddad's. I nod once, tight-lipped. I'm sorry, Rye, but nobody knows about this. Not even Mum. The journal. Oh. You have been a bad boy. You serious? One other person did. But he's gone now, too. A wave of shame crashes over me, pulling my heart down to my stomach. I'm sorry, Rans. I'll forget about it. Thanks. The last pint meets the bar, accompanied by three clear shots. That'll be 37.75, me lo- That'll be 37.75, me lover. The bar lady's joyful voice brings Ranzo's tone up. He, re he readorns the cap and taps his card. Cheers, love. He we wrangle the glasses together and walk towards the table. His mood stays up, as though our conversation at the bar never happened. Joe's back. Billy is arranging some playing cards face down on the table in concentric circles with one card at the center. Ranzo and I take our seats and distribute the drinks. Billy takes the shots from my hand and places them on the center card. For you. For you. Won't show anyone your hand. Billy, hand, uh, Billy hands round a set of cards to each of us. There you go. Water time. Mm. <sighs> okay. Rabbit hole. Remember the rules. Uncertain murmurs around the table. Billy shakily stands and points to the ring of cards. Four cards, then three cards, then two, then one. Out of ring, if you've got the same number, drink. Second ring, pick someone else to drink. Third ring, if you got the number, drink double or nominate someone else. If they don't have the card, you've got to have half your pint. Which leaves the middle. If you got the number, you're in the rabbit hole. Joe Snickers. What then? However many matching cards you got, you do that many shots. If it's just you in the hole, finish your drink too. Ha! <laughs> this is a fun one. Ranzo claps his hands together. Let's go. I look at my cards. King of Diamonds, Jack of Spades, Seven of Clubs, Three of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Eight of Hearts, Jack of Clubs. Billy starts at his end of the table. Okay, we've got Three of Diamonds. Who's got a three? Shit. Ah, good start. All three of us take a long sip of our beers. Billy nods to Sal, who turns over the second card of the outer ring. Ten of Spades, anyone? Come on. <laughs> All right. Two more drinks from the boys. Joe's happy. Joe bangs the table. Hm. Okay, next one. Bit eager. Joe turns over his card. Queen of Clubs. 
There we go. Sal sips her drink alone. Billy looks on, smug. Steady on, designated driver. Sal places her drink down. I'm not uh, driving tonight. I know, I know. He pats her on the back. You driving us back from the beach this weekend, or are we going to camp out? I wanted to ask that, actually. I thought we'd go to... She looks around the table. I mean, where do people want to go? Joe and Billy giggle between themselves. It's my turn. I reach out and turn the card. Four of club. Four of clubs. Really? Ugh. Joe takes one chug. Sal takes two big, long ones. Way, we got a double. Sal sways and points to Ranza while placing her glass down. You're not the only big man around here, <laughs> big man. <laughs> Please make a camp, make it a camp pot. I want to see this Sal again. We could go down to head to Haley Mouth. Usually a bit windy though. It's far too. Pinset, that's closer. Not really much of a beach. Not allowed to camp there either. Ranza reaches for the next card. Nine of clubs. Fuck. <laughs> Ranzo takes two long swigs. Another double. Billy laughs and sips at his. I was starting to think the deck was rigged the way Billy hadn't had none. Eight of clubs. Again? Balls. I join Ranzo in a drink. His pint's halfway down after the first round. Billy's enjoying how messy this is getting. Ranzo wipes his lips and turns to Sal. Huh, so we want somewhere close to town then. Yeah, I'll probably have to do some setup for the festival in the day, too. <laughs> something in it something in his eyes, rocking on waves of drink. We're not Kelly's Cove. Oh. Expressions are traded around the table, a unanimous uncertainty. It's there! It's close to town! Joe! Oh, the music really just got weird. What, so we're just never gonna go there? Ever? It's a bit of a mood killer. Sure, for you. You moved away. Ranzo, too. Beer tips out the edge of his glass. Words trickle from his beak. It sucks. It was a bad time. But we see it every day. You can, you can see it from the pier. Sal's eyes keep looking to me. Ranzo's, too. You can't talk about it. Why are you here? Joe picks up on everyone's silence. Sorry, that was... I... I was joking. Yeah, good one. I just mean... I didn't... What about Powhole? Hm. It's an easy drive. Dune... Uh, dunes to put the tents in. Hardly anyone to make noise complaints. You can see the rock from there, Like, but like Joe said, when can't you? Sure. Uh, Powhole sounds good. Uh, that's actually what I was going to suggest originally. Ranzo takes a moment. Sounds like that would work, then. Everyone? Quiet nods. Like a committee. It's the other side of a few headlands, so Sal will still have, will still have to drive. I don't mind. Though, I won't drink in case we need to get back. No! You've got to get fucked up, Sal. Second circle. Remember, this is the round where you get someone else to drink. She takes the card. The wounded look across her face lightens into a smile. Queen of Spades. Big man. Pranzo lifts his glass again. So unfair. The next rounds go comparatively understated between the chatter. The circle winds its way towards the center as more and more drinks go down. What are people putting in their lanterns this year, then? I'll do one, but just for the whole thing of it. They don't do anything. Sure they do. Wait, you actually believe it? Why not? Everything I wrote and one I remember like it were yesterday. What, like, what like? You know, big life moments, personal stuff. Confirmation bias, they were already good memories. That's why you put them in the lantern. There you go. This definitely feels like a sea shanty of sorts. I tried putting all the times tables in mind before the GCSE maths exam. And? I got a D. Did you put the paper face up or face down? If you put it face down, you forget it. You believe in it, Billy? He shrugs. Sort of. I like the idea. You ever done a forget one? I don't know. Maybe I did one and then forgot about it. He reclines, jerking his chin up at me. 
Your boyfriend coming with us, Riley? You what? Yeah, what? Oh, so there is someone. Billy. And Joe said you went on a date with a guy earlier. Is that how you said it? Maybe. He's just an old, uh, friend. And not much to talk about. No blowy, then. I don't fuck everyone I meet. Oh, right, right. So he's not in his fifties. Joe tries not to snort. I try to look unperturbed. And what's the problem? Thought you liked older guys. Billy! All right. How was it, though? It was fine. I ran into him yesterday and we decided to catch up. I haven't seen him in, like, I don't know, eight years? What's his name? Another card. Another drink. Conversation doesn't move on. Griff. He's my ex. Is that the guy you were off shagging when you didn't turn up to practice? We finally get a name! I wasn't... Ah! He takes his card. Who's got a seven? Me. I gladly take my double. Billy refuses to break eye contact with me. And I twitch. An unpronounced a pronounced sniff. So, was he your first? Billy, I'm warning you. You're warning me? I'm just trying to take an interest. Well, maybe Riley doesn't want to talk about it. And Riley can say that. You don't need to... No. Uh, no, Griff was not my first. Oh. Oh? I've actually never uh, done anything like that with Griff. Huh. Huh. Flash a smile. I used to be a good boy, you know. Well, I don't need that stuff if it's true love. Well, you don't need that stuff if it's true love, right? I'd like you to know, virgin. <laughs> it's my card. Last one before the middle. Ten of diamonds. Sal drinks twice. On her second, she stops. There have been no jacks yet, have there? Head to shake around the table. <laughs> No! Sal takes two swigs through spluttered breaths. What? Joe's confused, but then he gets it. Billy follows soon after. <laughs> no way! What is it? Your card, Rans. Rans attentively moves the three shot glasses off the center card. His thick, drunken fingers fumble the paper, flicking it down against the table, then again. He pinches the card. The tension squeezes it into an arch. I already know what's underneath it, as do Sal and Joe. Jack of spades. He looks at his own deck. Then everyone else. Then to me. His slow, bassy chuckle revs up like someone tugging on the cord of a motorboat. Ha! Huh. I'm gonna hiccup if I try and do that. <laughs> There's my Tommy Wiseau. I tip my hand forward onto the table. In a neat little line... The three jacks. Sal finds it hard to hold composure. You don't have to do it. Yes, he does. All shots and pint. Drink! Drink! Fists pound the table. The word repeats. Sal tries to abstain, but the tide sweeps her up. Drink! 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 Wait, did the... Oh, yeah, it actually went off the screen there. Okay. I slowly slide all three fingers of vodka towards me. You're all dickheads. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna go give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cage Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our Not-Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye